Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Utah has been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Colorado is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He's out to the 30. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Senior class taking the home field for the final time, and no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. to that quickly and he's tackled at the 40. you know what after a play like that i wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again they'll spread the field with five wide brought down around the 36 yard line it was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you they're about four yards away here on third down. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. And down he goes at the 41. Slings it. Ashley picks up around five yards with that catch. That makes it fourth and inches. Smith is back deep to return the punt. And he muffed it. Looking for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Kirky broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. play action now he's on the move he wants it all intercepted they'll bring him down at the 47 not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in great job it's first and ten Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackle right around the 40. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From the 40-yard line, second down. Zips it to the back. 
And he's taken down at the 33. Inside the 10, and they bring him down at the 5. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Touchdown, Mutes. the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. This one was tight. The Cowboys take it by three. In other games, checking out the action in Cincinnati, it felt as if the game rested on every play. The Bearcats grabbed the win by five. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Simmons has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's got the corner. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this Amazing offense and what they're down. trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them. They have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Short game there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football here using the safe run to get the first. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's at the 20. Tight end grab. First down. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 10. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. play of the series. guys 
don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 56 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Colorado to kick. Moore takes it at the eight. And down he goes at the 33 yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. From their own 33-yard line, second down. tie game at 7-7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Smith, the return man. always want to go in the locker room with momentum so as we get closer to halftime I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays tackle made the 27 yard line the defense had that one called perfectly that's a big play on that line from their own 27 yard line it's second down Throws middle to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the 41 yard line. Third down. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Stop behind the line. Bryant to punt. made the 37 yard line pretty good job by the return man there they've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now quick strike and he drops it that makes it 
makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Him hard at the 45 yard line. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That's a great stop by the All American. This guy is such a great player, Brad. When we see this guy at the award show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. Simmons is the punter. And he's hammered down. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. four-yard line. It's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He rifles it. Seven yard line. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Moore back deep to return. He's at midfield. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Utah's going to take their first time out of the half. And he gets a yard on the run. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. It's the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. to the 26. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Little 
too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. We played a half of football. We're even at seven in this one. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe, maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field, but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. Smith from the one. Oh, he got nailed on that one. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From their own 43-yard line, first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. He wants it all. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Six yards on the carry. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And they'll get him in the backfield. He's taken 
down around the 21 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 21. Makes it out to about the 10. That's a game they're loving on the play. That makes it first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. It's second and goal. Ball on the 10-yard line. Nice run up the middle. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The back gets three on the carry. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Colorado could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Bryant looks ready to kick this one off. Moore from the eight. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 37. Colorado's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. They'll spread the field with five wide. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Fisher intended to see on the play. That'll make it third and nine. It's third and nine. Ball on their own 39. Flips it, middle to a running back. And down he goes, the 48-yard line. Come out in a five wide set. Makes it out to about the 40. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. Caught open field tackle around the 31 yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it third and one. the middle for a nice game. Passes to his tailback again. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. That makes it second and two.
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they make the stop at about the 15-yard line. Through three quarters now, and still the defenses are shining. The Buffaloes lead 10-7. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Big play, and it's first and goal. team's career record in that department. Here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career. It's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long. And he adds the extra point. Kick this one off. Smith fields it at the seven. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 48. For his tight end over the middle. Tackle made around the 42 yard line. Makes the tackle at the 42 yard line. First down. From the 42 yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 35 yard line. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. It's first and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. He steps out at the 10 yard line. Just throws this one away. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the ten.
Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Robinson is intended to see the play. That brings us fourth and seven. to go up by three they'll kick the extra point he splits the uprights with the extra point everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he'll return it from the six he's out to the 30 he makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Utah has been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's hit immediately. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he's tackled at the 43. That's a team going on the play. Third down. to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 47. The screen is good for four. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll get him for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 45. Makes it out to about the 33. Now, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Smith picks up about four yards on the play. The Utes using their third and last timeout. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29. Just under two to go in the game. He'll get the call again. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four. That'll bring up third and two. Two times, two times. Kill, kill, kill. It's out to about the 17 yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. From the 17 yard line. First down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team.
And this one's all but wrapped up. The Buffaloes get the win. 17-14. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? What a great win. To come in without anyone really giving them a chance and to earn this one is a terrific achievement. Colorado got these guys into a dogfight, and in the end, they just wanted it more. They made the plays they weren't supposed to make and won a game nobody thought they would win. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.